Welcome, and follow me as a ZTE Blade A31, and today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. So in a second you should see that this phone right here is locked. <coughs> so let's give it a just a moment. Now while this is looking for whatever it is looking for, uh, on your in your case you do want to connect to Wi-Fi and once you do so, uh, if it goes a step further after connecting, go back to the Wi-Fi. Uh, page where you have all the like, list of all the Wi-Fi's and I'll basically rejoin you once I can show you that the device is locked now You can obviously see that there is a little lock right here that signifies that the phone is FRP locked But I do also have two other ways of unlocking it either through a pattern or Google account obviously so Hopefully this will show up in a second Okay, so as you can see there is our pattern and also the Google account, like I mentioned before. It just took a little bit of time to actually get to this. So there we go. So once you have connected to your network, you want to back out right here. And then you want to scroll down and select see all, see all networks. And then at the bottom you'll find add new network. Now, once it pops up, uh, automatically you will get a keyboard and from here you get this microphone as well. You want to click on the microphone. Uh, this will ask for access to microphone. So you want to select deny. Click on it again and again select deny and then click on it once more and select allow. This instead will take us to uh, the app page right here. And what you want to do right now is navigate to permissions then you want to select the search button and we're gonna type in settings there we go and we're looking for I think just this settings right here so let's click on it and yep uh, this is the one so as you can see there is the open option Click on that and from here we're gonna navigate to apps and notifications which is visible right at the top and I'm gonna select app info and you want to scroll down to uh, Google Play services Oops. actually before we scroll down we first need to tap on the three dots and select show system and then we can scroll down to Google Play services otherwise it won't be visible And as you can see, there it is, Google Play Services. Click on it, and from here we're gonna select Disable, Disable App, and let's see, I wanna make sure if we don't need to also first stop it, so. Nope, it looks like that's all we need to do. So from here, we're gonna hold our power key and select Restart. Now while the device is rebooting, I'm gonna mention uh, one little thing, which is uh, you've probably seen that I do have my device plugged in. This is not needed for the bypass. The only reason why my phone is plugged in is because it, it is at 1% battery life. So if I would unplug it, it would basically immediately die. And this is the only reason. Now, once the device 
as block hop. Let's give it a second. Again, from here, select skip. Uh, this is strictly my SIM card, which is inserted into the device, so it has nothing to do with the process. So right here, we're gonna select don't copy, which I think we are already a little bit too far. Yep, I'm gonna back out because this isn't where we're supposed to be. There we go. Okay, so you wanna back out to the, uh, or progress to it, uh, to the Wi-Fi page. And in here you'll find now an option uh, as set up offline. Click on it and select continue to set it up offline. And actually once we do that, you wanna go back again. I'm looking at the guide as I go, so bear with me. Come on. There we go. So, okay, so my bad. Um, I'm just reading up right now just to make sure. Uh, it says uh, that we should see set up offline. It's not like we need to access or tap on it. So, once you see this, uh, we're just gonna go again to see all Wi-Fi networks and we're gonna again select add a new network. And once again, we're gonna do the microphone thing, but this time around, we can just press right now and instantly select the allow button, which will again take us right over here. And we're gonna, let me quickly make sure we're gonna, yep, again, go to permissions. I'm gonna search for settings. open and uh, let's again navigate back to the uh, apps and notifications app info three dots show system again go to the google play services so there we go and right now once we select that, we're gonna now select Enable. Now we're gonna go back once you have enabled the Google Play services. So let's back out. To right here. And we want to select Set Up Offline, Continue. And as you can see, it just kind of skipped over the verification portion right now. So we can select more and accept. And we can right now finish up the setup of our phone. So I'm gonna skip adding screen lock. And as you can see, we are right now in on our home screen. So from here, you will want to navigate to your settings. From there, scroll down to system, advanced or reset options, erase all data, erase all data. And once you press on this button once again, it will perform a factory reset of your device. And on top of that, it will remove uh, the previously used Google account along with the protection that was there, which was for me a pattern. And uh, yeah, the device will basically be fully unlocked from there. Now, I'm not gonna go through this just because factory reset is just a all automatic process. It just shows you nothing. And once it's finished, you're back in the setup screen with the device fully unlocked. And I'm pretty sure you can figure out how to go through the setup process when the device is unlocked. You can just set it up however you like as you would normally do so. So anyway, that being said, this is how you could bypass the Google verification on this phone. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.